What's up guys, Sean here with Spencer's Lawn Care. Today, it's once again very cold. You're gonna hear that a lot from me because it takes about a month for that oil in your veins to get changed out to that cold winter weather blood, okay? But, today's a good day, you know why? Because my wife made me a sandwich to go. I hope you guys can see that. Nice little egg, bacon, and cheese sandwich to go so i need to grub that down real quick and then i'm gonna bring you back some motivation do you guys know what time it is it's motivational thursday and on motivational thursday it's time to get motivated so on a count of three i want to hear you say it's game time one two three game time one Two, three, game time! One, two, three, game time! And what do you do when it's game time? It's time to execute. What are you gonna be executing? Everything you've been working on your whole entire life that led up to this very glorious moment. When you get to execute, you are gonna be the best mower trimmer blower going in everything that you have ever done in your entire life. You guys understand me? Do you understand me? I have grass running through my veins. I have mulch pouring from my eye socket. All right, guys, I got a minute here real quick, and I wanted to talk about some of the gear that you'll need for doing fall, going into winter type cleanups. Now, this is more geared towards a little bit of safety and also a little bit of keeping you warm or what I like to use to uh, kind of get me through that month getting closer to winter. And I'll start off with the safety vest. Once we hit fall, I pretty much require on um, almost any leaf cleanup that we each wear safety vests. And this is really just a visibility type thing, guys. I'm backing up on the mower. I'm going in circles back and forth really fast. I want to make sure I can keep an eye on my worker and, you know, a safety green vest. You know, if I have to look back real quick, it's very eye-catching. And if he's close, you know, I'm going to see it really quick. Uh, second thing I'll say is a wolf snout or another form of mask. There's a bunch out there. I believe RZ Mask makes one, too, that a lot of guys are liking. I've personally never tried one. Uh, for the simple fact, the wolf snout works good for me. It is dirty. Uh, but you will wash it, squeeze it, let it dry out real quick, and that'll keep the dirt and everything out of your nose so you don't get nosebleeds. Uh, second, or third, I should say, is just a, a beanie of some sort. I, I prefer Carhartt. Seems like it holds up really well. I think I've had this one for two, three years now. And I'll, I'll put links in the descriptions too, guys, if you guys are looking for anything. Maybe not exactly what I'm showing here, but forms of it that you can pick up two safety vests you know this is more or less just a cotton guys a thick cotton that'll keep your head warm because you know a lot of your heat escapes through your head safety glasses self-explanatory guys take care of your eyes now when it comes to the gloves i use two different i have a i believe it's like a neoprene material now this one here guys is pretty much like waterproof but that has a downfall also and i don't use this one too much when it's not very cold but this one will make your hands sweat therefore your hands will get cold so that's why i only like to use them whenever it's extremely hot or not extremely hot extremely cold to keep my hands a bit warmer keeps the air off of them and i also i like to double up too so if your hand does start sweating you know the cotton glove or whatever you have will will stay dry but these are what I use most of the time, and I'll say it like this, guys. You can pick these up at, like, your Speedway, but you can get them a lot cheaper online. And there's different forms of them, neon green, yada, yada, yada. I'll put them in the description, guys. But I like this glove for two simple reasons. The back of your hand when you're mowing, the you know, right there where my knuckles are, the wind hits that a lot. So this material here keeps that covered this isn't a real thick material but it will keep it warm keep the wind off of it from wind burn but then also on the inside guys it's rubber it's rubber and you know in fall we're dealing with a lot of wet leaves a lot of wet material so this will keep your hands dry on the inside if you're grabbing a hold of stuff you know it'll keep them nice and dry 
and it has a, a texture to it so it gives you a good grip on the mower on the handles trimming you know whatever you're working with works out really well i like these a lot this is what i found that i i like to use a lot you know i'm not into the big bulky like railroad gloves they just don't have enough flexibility with these guys i need to be able to grab things pull things pick things up so i just figured i'd you know throw that out here real quick for you guys that's what i use for early spring now with uh hoodies and stuff guys what i like to do is i like to just double up with hoodies i'll, I'll double triple up hoodies because the thing is guys you get out there the weather changes throughout the day you can always remove a hoodie or put another hoodie on if you're cold or if you're getting warm simple guys if you wear a big bulky jacket like i've done the car hearts before you know if you start getting hot you rip that off you know all you got is that next year layer extra layer under there yes you can keep a you know a hoodie in the car or whatever but what i like to do is just throw cheap hoodies in the in the car and i can add to them and take off so that's my gear for early fall going into winter type gear to get you through keep you warm keep you safe Look at this chick here. I said, hey, you want to come pull some weeds for me? Clean up some beds for the for the fall? She comes out here all dolled up. What am I dolled up? Makeup done. All right, guys, so I've been burning some stuff the last few days that I've gathered throughout the uh, summertime just from different sites, you know, and different job sites. And it's that time of the year I got to get it burned up so it doesn't look as bad throughout the throughout the winter. Got a little gas here, fellas, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. The weather outside is cold. The fire's really hot. And I got a burp and fart. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Seriously. Nothing. I... I'm spending time with my subscribers. You don't need to be around here, okay? I'm getting warmed by the fire. Don't be coming over by my fire. You know how long this took me to put together? You know how many sticks I had to rub together to get friction to make a fire? And then you just come out here and start kicking stuff. You're not even live, are you? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Gonna be some nighttime corn harvesting tonight. That truck's already loaded. All in fields out there, boys. They come out and grow. See all them lights? They all come out to do it all at once. <laughs> Just now leaving pilot down here, fellas. It's a wrap for today. It's starting to rain. And it's like 37 degrees out here, so calling it for today. Just drop Vince off, heading home. Do you need some more motivation? Hmm? No? You good for today? You good for today? Okay, as always, keep mowing, keep going, keep making money, boys. No, let me see it in the news. Or is that my mustache here? <laughs> I got more motivation tomorrow for you.